Here we go. Ready? Oh, he's better than me. Yeah. Hey, what's up? All right, now that I have the um, the fretwork on and I have the blocking on, it's time for me to start to put the astrical on. Okay. Now I'm gonna move my camera so I can explain to you a little bit what's going down. All right. So check it, check it, check it out. All right. Here's the box frame upside down, obviously, and it has the fretwork on top of it. Okay. And you, you can see that I have the blocking that goes to the uh, pilaster of the door attached already. I didn't really know what I wanted to do for a, uh, a fretwork pattern, so I just left the block. Hopefully I won't make a mistake on this and need to plane it off at a later date, so I hope to just execute well on this piece here and be done with it. But you can see I have the astrical, okay guys? And what I want to do is have like a 16th reveal on the astrical out beyond the fretwork. So, what I did was that I took my marking gauge, okay, and I figured out what I wanted for a reveal. See what I mean? I don't know if you can see that mark right there. But basically I just made a marking gauge line on the on the astrical stock and then I put it all along the front end of the uh, box. And then after I did that I cut some secondary wood. Here it is. And now that I have a line on the on the bottom of the box, I milled this stock the same thickness as the astrical, obviously, so it's even on the bottom. So what I need to do is just locate this piece of stock, whether I decide to put a couple of brads in it to hold it or just clamp it. That's what I'm going to do. And I would much rather be a little proud of my line than back, because I can always shave this off with the shoulder plane a little bit. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just attach this with a little bit of glue and a couple of clamps on the front and the two sides, okay? Then after I do that, I'm going to have to put a block here, you know, to bump out this part of it because the astral needs to go around each one of these little pilaster blocks. So, this is the next step in creating this uh, really elegant looking um, bonnet top, whatever. See how it goes? And I would, it's easier for me just to butt this up against a piece of wood to try to locate this one piece. You know, this is the money piece. This right here, if I make a mistake, it's okay. All right, I think some more people are coming in, so I'll talk to you later. What's up? Okay, as you can see, I have the, um, the piece of secondary wood glued on the bottom of the frame on the line that I that I got with my um, marking gauge. Now, I'm just going to show you how I like to put miters together on the on these outside corners, okay? So, check it out. Let me move the camera a little bit. Get going here. All right. There we go. <clears throat> now, here's the block that's going to have a detail that goes all the way around it. But this board right here is going to be at this at this location. So what I do is that I kind of fit these the best I possibly can. All right, that looks pretty good. I already had, I already did this. Okay, so I, I I checked it like this, and I marked the back of it, and I cut it to length. So now all I really need to do is attach this this first piece here. Now. I'm just not going to attach it without this board here. So what I want to do is, is take this one, slide it over into location, and clamp it down as a like a uh, stop block, you know. So that's about it. If I had a pencil, I'd mark it, but since I don't, I'm just going to let it float. Now I just clamp this stuff right down on my bench, you know. Sometimes I don't like all this stuff moving around on me. So, here we go. Got to clamp down to the bench. It's not going to move anywhere. And you can see that that miter is going to be really, really nice. I wonder if I can zoom in on it. 
Now you're only going to see the, the tip of the astrical because this part right here is going to sit right down on top of the um, well it's going to sit down on top of the case here but all this right here you're going to see when you open up the doors. Let me see if I can zoom in on that miter that I'm working on. It looks good huh? I don't know if that's kind of Sorry, it's, it's still kind of fuzzy. So, that's about as close as I can get it with this camera that I have. So, that's it. And what all I'm going to do is I'm just going to attach this and clamp it down. You know what I mean? So, I'm going to attach this, clamp it to the secondary board, and then clamp it straight down. I mean, I really like this board on here because it, it, it takes all the, the movement out of this particular piece. All right, so I'm going to attach this one, then I'll show you how I cut this one and bump out around this uh, block. All right, so when I get to that, I'll talk to you then. Goodbye. All right, guys, you can see that I have my first piece of um, molding attached to the, to the case. Now, this part gets a little tricky. Check it out. You have to cut a little sliver and it goes from this inside corner right here to this outside corner. And it fits perfectly. Now, if you remember, I had a piece of molding that was here that I dry fit this with. That's the end of this one. So I fit the miter, then I cut the piece off to make sure that it still is going to fit well. You know what I mean? So. I just don't want to clamp this piece on because it's going to be tough and who knows, it could roll, blah, 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 blah. So what I did, now this, this is another piece. Look how thin that is. It's like 3 sixteenths of an inch, okay? And this piece needs to go here. It needs to follow this profile of the blocking. So I cut this one and I fit it and then I cut this one here. Alrighty. Now that is essentially what I'm striving for. And I double checked it with another block on the front, see? And then I looked up underneath it to, to, to check this reveal to make sure that it's even from you know, this corner all the way around to the other corner, and it's fine. So this is what I'm striving for, everybody. And this is like the only way that I know how to do it. You might want to try to glue an end on it, blah, 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 blah. But I'd rather just take one piece at a time and take it easy and do my thing. Now, from here, I think I may just you know, get another block like this and cut it to fit inside here so I know that I can just have a reference to, to tighten this up. You know what I mean? So I'll put another block here to make sure that these two pieces can't go anywhere. I'll glue them then I'll clamp this corner down and I'll just be like gotta take it easy when you glue this corner. You know? So I'm just gonna kinda leave a little clamp of pressure on it, push it down a little bit and glue it and let it dry. Kind of sweet though, huh? So that's what I'm doing. I drank extra coffee today, so my hands are extra steady, and I'm smoking a stogie. Huh? You kids out there, no smoking. <coughs>